For the third year running, the Swedish royal family hosted the World Child and Youth Forum at the Royal Palace in Stockholm, Sweden. The aim is to create an independent multi-stakeholder platform which inspires all parts of society to realize the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. The forum is a catalyst to facilitate cross-sector dialogue and partnerships for the protection and fulfillment of children's rights. 350 delegates from business, civil society, the UN, government and academia from all over the world attended the forum. The theme for 2013 was children's rights, any of your business? Our vision is to, to create an exciting and creative arena and a sort of a, a think tank where ideas can be shared and put into reality. Let us be open-minded and let us be innovative and curious. So thank you very much and good luck. One year ago, the United Nations Global Compact, UNICEF and Save the Children launched the children's rights and business principles to guide companies on the full range of actions they can take in the workplace, marketplace and community to respect and support children's rights. Well, the interest in the child rights and business principles um, amongst businesses has been very high. The, the trick is to translate that interest into actual action on the ground. There are um, several companies who are beginning to do that, but it needs to be uh, across the board and, and smaller companies as well and, and high-risk companies working in, in conflict situations, extractive industries. These principles are applicable for all businesses. Uh, as UNICEF, we've also been working very much with governments and I think we haven't mentioned them yet in the, in, in the conversation so much, but of course they also have you know, a primary responsibility for the protection and, and support of children's rights and also for you know, creating the, the enabling environment for, uh, 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 for businesses to be able to, to do that, their work right. Today, Sweden is a role model and a leading nation when it comes to children's rights. We were first in the world to um, um, take the, uh, in a law to uh, prohibit that you're not allowed to hit your children. Um, we are uh, in the top five, I think, in the world when it comes to international cooperation aid, which we also direct towards issues linked to uh, women's rights, children's rights, because they are connected. How can you talk to a company and to a government uh, about these issues when they don't know that every third person in the world is a child. How can you ask them to implement principles and how can you ask them to respect children's rights if children to them are invisible? How do you do that? Please get your minds ready and would you do two other things? Would you prepare to lower the age of your understanding from the esteemed place that you've achieved professionally so you might remember what it's like to be a child. This is a new part of the agenda for many companies and it was inspiring to hear how other companies are working with the issues of children's rights as part of the sustainability agenda including corporate social responsibility. For me this day has been a, a huge learning process and it's been great to participate. Well I learned and I'm not I'm not alone in the world. <laughs> I, I share these worries and these problems that we have with many others. And there is a great sense of, uh, uh, of achievement in the sense that we need to work more together, partnering with uh, the organizations that are present here today. 215 million women around the world want access to reproductive health care and contraception, but don't have that option. I think also with the relationship we have started with Save the Children, it's and, and with the new principles, it's broadened the perspective. Uh, some years ago we took a decision to put extra focus on children's rights and uh, in that we started the, the long-term relationship with Save the Children uh, and their center of uh, children's rights in Asia. Uh, and with that we're working with projects uh, across our supply chain because they have the content, the knowledge and the information and we have the access to parents in the, uh, in the factories and so on. So it, it becomes a natural uh, partnership where we, can, we believe we can make a difference as we move along. I think what's always most interesting to me is to, to see 
uh, company leaders themselves speaking. And you may have seen earlier that the company representatives um, talked about some of the initiatives they're taking, but some of them were also very frank about the fact that uh, it's not easy changing a corporate culture and that a lot of companies don't yet understand their responsibilities in relation to children's rights. All credit to uh, uh, His Majesty and Her Majesty for encouraging this to be a very frank discussion rather than a, a, a sort of overly formal discussion. It really starts with uh, what I think is maybe the, the most essential. What's the purpose with any organization or company? And is it a meaningful purpose? It's a little bit new for us. You don't know, we normally never do it. But uh, Ulf uh, uh, and the royal family, uh, uh, idea of what it could become stimulated uh, us. And, and this is uh, it's three years now. It has been the starting point, and I hope it will evolve and develop to really uh, uh, important part in child rights questions in the world. We have fantastic cooperation with. Uh, and with, with our partners, uh, we, that helps us to reach out. UNICEF, Save the Children, UNDP, UNHCR. Uh, There's so much fantastic people that really have a lot of ambition, but how we could transfer that and see the models that work and let that spread uh, wider so we get more out of the, the resources that uh, we all put in. By caring about the future, I think uh, a lot of uh, organizations, companies, governments, uh, can contribute to a better everyday life for children in the world. I think we're beginning to see the change. It's uh, it's still early days, but with the publication of uh, you know the business principles and child rights, uh, I think companies are now beginning to wake up to the need to address this issue proactively. I mean, huge progress has been made, but in the next 10 years, we could eliminate those worst forms of abuse against children. And uh, we've seen change, we know it can happen, and with businesses coming on board, I think that we can accelerate the pace. We have a choice between despairing or turning away, and not turning away, and having the courage. And I hope it's the latter. When I see all of you gathered here today, so many of you representing strong and important businesses. I think of Pippi Longstocking. Pippi's philosophy is that the stronger you are, the kinder you have to be. In your strength, I see an enormous potential for kindness. Imagine the positive impact you all can do. Let us show the world's children that we're not just here to talk, but to share and to work. Let us show with action that this is possible. Thank you.